Welcome to Elasticsearch 5.x Solutions, Node and Cluster Management by Alberto Paro, a video course by Pack Publishing. I am Eddie Leonard, and I will be the voiceover artist for this course. Alberto Paro is an engineer, project manager, and software developer. He currently works as a freelance trainer on big data technologies and NoSQL solutions. He began programming in BASIC on a Sinclair Spectrum when he was eight years old and to date has collected a lot of experience using different operating systems, applications, and programming languages. He has created or helped to develop big data solutions for business intelligence, financial, and banking companies all over the world. A lot of his time is spent teaching how to efficiently use big data solutions, NoSQL data stores, and related technologies. Now let's look at an overview of Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch is one of the most powerful solutions written with the cloud and distributed computing in mind. It also provides a lot of features that allows using it also as data store and analytic engine. So now let's look at what we've got in store for this course. Section 1. Managing Clusters and Nodes Shows how to analyze the behavior of a cluster or node to understand common pitfalls. Section 2. Backup and Restore Covers one of the most important components in managing data Backup. It shows how to manage distributed backup and restore of snapshots. Section 3, User Interfaces, describes two of the most common user interfaces for Elasticsearch 5.x. Cerebro, mainly used for admin activities, and Kibana with XPack as a common UI extension for Elasticsearch. Section 4, Ingest, talks about the new Ingest functionality introduced in Elasticsearch 5.x to import data in Elasticsearch via an ingestion pipeline. For this course, you will need a computer, of course. Even software required will is easily available, as all the components we use are open source and available for every platform. For all the rest example, the curl software is used to simulate the command from command line. It's common pre-installed in Linux and Mac OS operative systems. For Windows, it can be downloaded from its site and put in a path that can be called from command line. This course covers all the aspects of using Elasticsearch and provides solutions and hints for everyday usage. So, what are we waiting for? Let's begin this journey together.